See, the things that are happening to us consciously are because we have moved into another zodiac house era of time. Um, even the Mayans used to calculate the different what was known as Baktuns, which was 144,000 days times nine, which calculated a different zodiac house. And they had a whole energy wheel or zodiac house translation um, movement or momentum of a wheel that went um, forth to December the 21st. Uh, 2012, which was really December the 12th, 2012, because the two and one were turned around backwards, not knowing the complete numerology and the uh, subdivision of the numbers down into um, 333, which is the symbol of the three pyramids. Um, but it was 12, 12, 12, which was four, five, and three, which the three is the symbol of the triangle of the pyramid on the horizon. The four is the symbol of seeing it from above, which is the four sides of the pyramid, and five is the three-dimensional aspect of it, which is the four sides and the fifth one rising from the center, which is showing you the three pyramids in um, three different geometries uh, by number setting. So it's showing you three, then it's showing you four, then it's showing you five, and three, four, and five together is the number 12, which 12, 12, 12 is each of the pyramids, and it'll show you 12, 12, 12 is the last of the um, anomaly of all of the months that span from the year 2000 because you have 2000 and that was nothing then you have 2001 and you have January the 1st 2001 which January is the first month the first day of the month and then you have year one of the new millennium which is 2001 2001 so it goes all the way to 12 you have 2012 which would have been December the 12th 2012 showing you the Mayan calendar was actually a miscalculation of the Mayans because Mayan means illusion. An is the name of God and May means it's a question. Like you don't know whether or not An is going to accept you. So Mayan was a question that the Mayans had. Same as Israel is Ra'el, meaning it's a question that you're asking about is God or is Ra, the ancient Egyptian God, El, which is a Hebrew God. So stay tuned. As we conclude here on this video, we want everybody to know that the rabbit hole has more discoveries feeling a bit like Alice <laughs> we are decoding the hidden meanings of ancient legends, epics tales or stories of the celestial angelic beings so stay tuned, we will have more for you to learn from and do your research to conclude whether or not you want to accept these things as facts or is it just hogwash, it's up to you you make the choice. Thank you and have a blessed day.